Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Blaze. This is Monday Night Raw, the final Raw before the Class of Champions pay-per-view, which goes live this Sunday, October 21st, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 8.30 p.m. UK Time. Every championship from Raw will be on the line, plus two extra matchups. It's going to be one to watch. Well, this week on Monday Night Raw, Matt Hardy will go one-on-one -on -one with Eric Young. Of course, those two teams, Sanity and the Hardys, will compete in a fatal four-way tag team match for the Raw Tag Team Championships. The other two teams involved will be the Usos and Roderick Strong Cassiusano, now known as Strong Knockout. Chad Gamble will go one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth. We're also going to see a women's matchup here tonight when we'll have Nikki Bella go one-on-one -on -one with Naomi. Good matchup there between those two. Both women searching for a victory. Tag team action as well. Bobby Roode and Elias will team up to take on McIntyre and Ziggler, four men who've just missed out on the number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship, but four of the best will compete tonight. And we have a huge match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of champions, it is champion versus champion, the Intercontinental Champion, Braun Strowman versus the Universal Champion, Samoa Joe. Well, Eric Young going to win over Matt Hardy. The Usos defeated Strong Knockout. The Usos are on a bit of a roll. Chad Gable got a victory over R-Truth. And finally, Naomi got a victory over Nikki Bella. Let's head over to our tag team match. First match showcase here tonight. And it will be a tag team match between four of the top contenders in the Intercontinental Championship race. And with the first one being Bobby Roode. Now these four men aren't scheduled to be at the Clash of Champions pay-per-view, so this is a crucial match for them here tonight because obviously John Cena, Braun Strowman, that is going to take place at the Clash of Champions pay-per-view. Only one of those men will win, which means if Braun Strowman defends, well, we need a new contender. Who will that Who will that be? I don't know. We need to find out. And of course, if John Cena does win, well, the future for Braun Strowman when it comes to the Intercontinental Championship is a little bit unknown as well. I feel like he might look to shift gears and maybe challenge for the Universal title down the line. Or will he continue to hunt for the IC title? We'll have to see. Well, Bobby Roode, we just saw him come to the ring. He lost to John Cena last week. And we spoke to Bobby Roode backstage and he said he was absolutely livid that he let that happen. And he believes that he's going to turn things around. He's had a bit of a rough start over the last couple of months since WrestleMania. The start of the season has not been good for him, but he wants to turn it around, and he's got a plan to do so. Well, tonight he's got a chance to do it with Elias, a man who's on the rise himself. Only a short period of time he's been here on Raw, but he's shown a lot of promise, but not really getting close to being a championship contender just yet. He needs to string together a few more victories in a row. Good opportunity for him here tonight to do so, teaming up with a former NXT champion in Bobby Roode. Well, their opponents will not be easy whatsoever. The first being Dolph Ziggler, a former WWE champion here in Universe Mode. He's a former United States champion as well. Dolph Ziggler, a star he has been. And Ziggler wants to maintain that status as one of the top stars here on Raw. He feels as though he still can do it, even though you have to probably say that he slipped down the ladder a little bit in the last season or so, but he reckons that it's going to be his year. Season 5 will be his season. And tonight, he's got a, well, a new tag team partner in Drew McIntyre, a man that he has not teamed with here on Universe Mode. In fact, I don't even know if these two men will get along with each other here tonight. These two men, I doubt, will be the best of friends, but we'll see them team up nonetheless. McIntyre He's been forced to team with Dolph Ziggler here tonight, so it'll be interesting to see how this pairing does fare. I don't know if they'll be able to get along too well, but uh, good opportunity nonetheless for Drew McIntyre. Many believe he could be the next big thing here on Monday Night Raw. He's an NXT champion here himself. Of course, he was even well, a tag team champion, if you will, as well, back in the day with 3MB here in Universe Mode, Season 1. That stable was the tag team champions. Drew McIntyre. He has star written all over him, but 
that can sometimes be too much pressure to uphold. He's got a lot of work to do. He hasn't quite achieved the goals he's been looking for since arriving here on Raw. As Zygmunt Rude will start things off here. McIntyre has beaten Bobby Roode on a few occasions now. And that rivalry continues to grow and grow. Not just over the NXT Championship anymore. Now it's over the fact that both men want to be Intercontinental Champion. And they're in the, each other's ways. It's as simple as that. And I don't think Roode and McIntyre will ever get along. Ever. It's just a matter of time before they go ahead one more time. But uh, McIntyre have a chance to get in the ring with Roode here tonight. This tag team matchup is Ziggler starting the action here. And not so great of a start here for Dolph. Elias will be itching to get in here as well. He might have to wait too much longer as Ziggler trying to fight out of the corner. Ziggler now swinging netbreaker and down goes Bobby Roode. Well, Rude and Elias aren't exactly well liked around here. Neither is Dolph Ziggler. So the fan favorite in this match definitely has to be Drew McIntyre. But I guess Dolph Ziggler might uh, get a bit of support just from his association with McIntyre tonight as Ziggler goes to the outside of the ring. I thought Rude for a moment might have thought about coming after Drew McIntyre with a cheap shot. Aside to Kenson, probably the right idea there. Bobby Rude has not beaten Drew McIntyre one-on-one -on, -one on pay per view a few occasions against each other now and McIntyre's got the better of him on every single time and Bobby Roode it's almost he's become obsessed with the fact that McIntyre's got the better of him Bobby Roode he seems desperate he seems so determined to get a victory over McIntyre he desperately wants it he's not going to get an opportunity at Clash of Champions instead he's got this opportunity tonight in a tag team matchup but definitely Bobby Roode he seems like a desperate desperate man and as McIntyre gets a chance to get in the ring with Rude right now. And Rude, I feel like he, he knows that the competition is very tough here on Raw. John Cena, obviously competing against Braun Strowman. That's a huge clash. And, you know, we've seen those two brawl the last few weeks. We're going to see that again. This time one-on-one -on -one at Clash of Champions. Oh, what a powerbomb by McIntyre. He'll keep the shoulders down, but can't quite get it done. So we spoke about John Cena. Got Elias, who's on the rise. Dolph Ziggler, former world champion. Drew McIntyre, NXT champion, and has beaten Rude. So there's a lot of big names right now, all in this Intercontinental Championship picture. And I think Bobby Rude's starting to realize, hey, I might be slipping away a little bit here. I might not be able to get an opportunity for this title anytime soon if I don't start getting it done. So I think Rude's starting to get a bit of a taste of reality here, a bit of a reality check, if you will, and he realizes that he needs to pick up some wins, otherwise his chances might go begging. And I think Rude's becoming a little bit desperate. As Elias with a hot start here against Drew McIntyre. McIntyre though, hits back with a shoulder block of his own. This is what I want to see is I want to see Elias step up to a guy like Drew McIntyre. Elias, he talks a big game, he comes out, and he plays his guitar in front of everybody, he tells everyone that... You know, they should walk with Elias, and even so much so that WWE stands for Walk With Elias. And he believes that WWE is all about him, Raw is all about him, and Raw might just be Elias. But we haven't quite seen that yet. He's talking a big game, but when it comes to wins and losses, well, it's been more L's than W's for Elias. He needs to change that. As a double back body drop, the big man goes down. It might just start here tonight. Victory, maybe even a pinfall win over Drew McIntyre could be huge. Stomp there by McIntyre. He might be hesitant to tag in Dolph Ziggler. I don't know if Ziggler is the most trustworthy tag team partner McIntyre's ever had in his life. But then again, he's had Hip Slater, Jim Mahal's tag team partner in the past. Right now, though, Ziggler is distracting the referee. That's a bit of a helpful tactic. As now, oh, a kick out. But McIntyre realizes, you know, he had a, a pretty bad first stint here in Universe Mode. He came in, yes, he was tag team champion for a cup of coffee, but 3MB, they fizzled out. They were a poor team in the end. They didn't get a lot of wins. They just struggled. McIntyre was gone. He was let go. And he had to wait a few years to get back here in Universe Mode. But now that he's back, he's gotten in better shape. He's changed his style. He's changed his look. He's become more aggressive, stronger, faster. He's just improved in every single category you can think of. And now that Drew McIntyre has made that improvement, he has become a big star in NXT and now quickly showing us that he can be a big star here on Raw. 
DDT down goes Elias. And now Drew McIntyre drives the knee into the midsection of Elias. Well, this is it for Elias right here. And you're in the big, big danger zone right now up in the shoulders of Drew McIntyre, able to fight through. He's going to say, this is when you need to be able to somehow persevere and find a way out of these tough situations, which I believe that Elias has kind of struggled a little bit to do. I think that's why Elias hasn't picked up the wins. It's because sometimes his arrogance gets the better of him. What an elbow, though. Beautiful elbow. Right in the heart there of Drew McIntyre. Does not get the victory. Dolph Ziggler breaking things up. So Dolph Ziggler at the moment has been pretty handy, I've got to say. Ziggler has surprised with how much he's actually offered some assistance to Drew McIntyre. His dirty tactics of distracting the referee has worked out pretty well. Now Elias, look out! Drift away! Could be it here for McIntyre. The cover, but Ziggler gets there again, utilizing his speed. As all oh, Elias accidentally hit his own tag team partner, Bobby Roode. Oh God, that's not going to be good. And this time he hits a suplex on Dolph Ziggler. I think he caught a bit of McIntyre on the way down. Well, Elias tried to hit a big clubbing strike there on uh, Dolph Ziggler, but instead. He hit Bobby Roode, but Roode seems to be okay about it all. As Elias gets hit with the power, but I think Roode just wants to win. Bobby Roode hates it when Drew McIntyre wins. He just, he just despises Drew McIntyre with everything he's got. He just hates Drew McIntyre. The fact that McIntyre ended his historic NXT Championship reign. The fact that McIntyre ruined his Raw debut and his chances of becoming Universal Champion. And the fact that McIntyre just continues to beat Bobby Roode on every single occasion they match up. I think Roode's just had enough. Tag has been made now. Ziggler comes in. Ziggler now stomps away on Elias. What can Elias produce? Oh, went for the famous side, gets caught with a power bomb. Wow. That's gonna hurt big time as Dolph Ziggler was sent crashing down. In some pain, gotta be. Ziggler trying to fight through the pain now. Has a hold of Elias, thinking about bringing back in Drew McIntyre. Short stint, short stint rather, perhaps for Dolph Ziggler. Instead, he's going to slow it down a little bit. Just get that side headlock applied. Rock away in the chin area of Elias and just try and grind away a victory here. Slow it down a little bit. Not something that you often see from Dolph Ziggler, especially against a, a bit of a powerhouse like Elias or Bobby Roode. You want to try and quicken the pace rather than slow it down. He's wary though that Elias is gaining momentum and now the tag's been made. Rude, Rude off the second works away on the arm. Bobby Rude looking good. And Ziggler misses in the corner. Went for it, missed out. Now Rude with a right hand. Under the back as well, Bobby Rude. Over the top of the rope, hangs on. How much long though? Ziggler, here we go. Using the ropes for a bit of leverage. Into the neck breaker. McIntyre seems to be pretty tired over there in the corner. Might have to be up to Ziggler now to get the job done here. Bobby Roode with a shoulder. Roode at the moment has a chance. Can he make the most of it? Right hand in the midsection. Now Roode. Clothesline. The former NXT champion, the longest reigning NXT champion in the series history, looking to put Ziggler away with a glorious. DDT hooks the leg, the cover. Where's the ref? He's here now. And it's over. The referee's slow to get in position. Elias actually took out Drew McIntyre. We didn't see that on screen. It was not the shot. But instead, we did see Bobby Roode pin Dolph Ziggler. One, two, three in the middle of the ring. McIntyre couldn't get there in time. And Bobby Roode back with a victory. He needed that one. A relieved Bobby Roode and an emerging Elias. These two men, well, they made a pretty good team, I gotta say. Not a bad team whatsoever. And in the end, despite a bit of miscommunication at some point in the matchup, they're still able to get the job done. Elias and Roode with a massive victory. These two men could be the next contenders for the Intercontinental Championship.
Well, it's time for our next matchup. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Sarah Logan backstage. That's Sasha Banks. That is Sasha Banks backstage. And Sarah Logan. Oh, my goodness. A suplex through the table backstage. What is going on? That's, well, that's Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch now. This new squad known as the Riot Squad. As she slams her through the table, takes out Lynch and Sasha Banks. We saw Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan attack last week, as well as Ruby Riot. Well, wow. They've attacked backstage on this occasion in the locker room. And now here, as well as, oh, what a knee. What a knee to Sasha Banks, and that may have knocked her out, Kyle. Liv Morgan took out Becky Lynch. Sarah Logan takes out Sasha. Ron Strowman heads to the ring now, but wow. The Riot Squad sent a big message there to two of the top contenders in the women's division. In fact, Becky Lynch has a title opportunity at Clash of Champions against Alexa Bliss. And Sasha Banks is going to go one-on-one -on -one against Ruby Riot at Clash of Champions as well. Looks as though the Riot Squad have softened up their matchups. And Lynch and Banks may not be 100% at all heading into that pay-per-view. Well, here comes the monster. Braun Strowman, two-time Intercontinental Champion. If he can get through Clash of Champions and make it to Money in the Bank, he will have held the Intercontinental Championship for one entire year. Nobody's done that here in Universe Mode. Braun Strowman four weeks away from doing it if he can get past Clash of Champions. A tremendous feat. 47 weeks he's held the Intercontinental Championship at the moment. It would be unbelievable if he could do it. It is champion versus champion. What a match this is tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Samoa Joe versus Braun Strowman. Perhaps the last time we'll see both these men as champions. Samoa Joe will meet Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one for the Universal Championship at the Clash of Champions pay-per-view. Nakamura's first singles opportunity for a world championship. At the Clash of Champions pay-per-view, Nakamura can finally take that next leap. He's been waiting to do it for a long time. What a start by Braun. Nakamura can finally become a champion of the world. Well, we've got the Intercontinental Champion Braun Strowman right now on the mat. Samoa Joe. What a matchup this is. These two men yet to meet here one on one in Universe Mind. This is a matchup that I would love to see down the line, perhaps even for the Universal Championship. We we'll get a bit of a sneak peek of what to expect when these two lock up right now with Strowman with a drop toe hold. Down goes Samoa Joe on the second rope. Now the knee in the back to follow it up. We'll start here by Braun. But normally you would say the Universal Champion would have the, the, the upper hand when it comes to this type of matchup. But this is Braun Strowman. This is the monster Braun Strowman. A man who's been on a rampage for the last year as the Intercontinental Champion. He's had a comp combined number of days as champion that lasts more than a year in his two championship reigns that he's had as the Intercontinental Champion. And Braun Strowman, I mean, I tell you what, this guy, you know, no one can really stop him. I, I don't know how. You know, he has run through everybody in his way. Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, one on one here tonight. Big matchup. These two men, bona fide stars. Samoa Joe on top of the raw locker room. Braun Strowman not too far away at all. What about the power? These two men can headline paint views together, no doubt about that. But it's champion versus champion. And obviously, it's all about the champions when it comes to Clash of Champions. And it's such a crucial matchup for both men. You want to come into that pay view with momentum. And if you're Braun Strowman, if you beat the Universal Champion here tonight, I mean, how the heck does John Cena beat Braun Strowman? Because the momentum that Strowman would have would be astronomical. And for Samoa Joe, I think he probably just wants to get through this match. When it comes to the Universal Championship, I think Samoa Joe just wants to make sure that he survives. We've been told the referee is not going to count both men out. Disqualifications will happen, but there is no count out in this one. But these two men obviously have had an extended period of time outside of the ring. And that's because, you know, these two men want to take it to the outside of the ring. That's, that's fair enough. Go for it. 
We don't want to see this one end in the counter. But obviously, you don't want to bend the rules and just be disqualified, though. It's now, oh, Samoa Joe nearly landing on JoJo, the ring announcer. And, well, that could be dangerous right there. You might want to move away from, from poor JoJo right there. And it's now Samoa Joe continues the assault. He gets blocked there by Strom in a right hand. These two men brawling here to the outside, and they're happy to do so early on this matchup. And who can blame them? This is about proving who's the better champion. Is it the Universal Champion? Is it the Intercontinental Champion? Braun Strowman has dominated for such a long time and I really believe that he could win the Universal Championship if he went for it. But since he's been IC Champion, his only focus has been on that championship. John Cena has really taken at the Strowman over the last number of weeks. He came out, attacked Braun Strowman with the championship belt and then of course a couple weeks ago we saw him and Braun Strowman just brawl up towards the uh, the stage area after a matchup. Those two men just went after one another. And those two guys, Strowman and Cena, they just don't seem to like each other. Just that competitive edge. Just, just that fire about both guys that just want to be champions so badly. But they'll do whatever it takes. And even though they're both fan favorites, well, the fans are going to have to pick a side. Pick someone they like is all. Big move by Strowman. You have to pick somebody they like because both guys, they won't, both want to be champions so badly and you get the feeling they almost will do whatever it takes to do so. Right now, this is a close match. It's not really going in the ring at the moment. Samoa Joe might change that. No! Strowman bounces off. And of course, the ringside post there. Wow. The LED post that's going to hurt. And Joe getting slapped away in the chest by this monster, Braun Strowman. Samoa Joe, he is big, tough, and powerful himself. A Samoan badass, no doubt about that. And Joe heading to the top. Well, this is not where he likes to be, but it's going to work regardless. An elbow drop to the back, the spine of, some, of Braun Strowman by Samoa Joe. Strowman, though, over to counter. Looking... Braun Strowman produces all oh, the weight of Strowman, 300 plus pounds. He's closer to 400 than he is to 300. Braun Strowman using the weight and the body of Samoa Joe. And oh, look out, went for a clothesline. Got caught though by Strowman. What about the power by Braun? Now, what's he going to look for? The running power slam? He's got him up. There it is. Could be an early one here. Could be a quick matchup. Braun Strowman will beat the Universal Champion tonight. Oh, it gets the shoulder up. Not to be. Braun Strowman nearly putting Joe away, but it is still early days when it comes to the in ring action. But now he's trying to put him away here. He's got the arms hooked. He's now got his hands wrapped around the face of Joe, wrenching the neck back. And Joe is in a lot of trouble here. Strowman, not a guy who likes to use too much submissions unless it's choking you out. On that occasion, that's exactly what he was looking for. Ron Strowman has had to certainly adapt and elevate his game, and that's been the beauty of his championship reign. Now, when Ron Strowman initially won the Intercontinental Championship, he was still a part of the White family. He was still a part of the White family, and he was like a sidekick to them. He wasn't the main star wasn't a big deal. He was there, but he was not really to be, you know, a force to be threatened with. But ever since he won the Intercontinental Championship, he broke out as a single star, and he has certainly elevated his game. An interesting note: the first time Braun Strowman won the Intercontinental Championship, Samoa Joe was in that match, a triple threat match at WrestleMania. Braun Strowman won that matchup, and Samoa Joe was a part of it. Of course, when Joe was on SmackDown. Knee into the spine, the, the, the rib cage, the, uh, the kidney section of Samoa Joe. Strowman's got a massive knee. He can cover, cover pretty much your entire torso if he wanted to. As now Joe up in the shoulders. Not good at all for Samoa Joe. This is the trouble. Strowman, the power that he's got, he can just out-muscle you. 
outpower you. And Joe, that's a big portion of his moveset, is the power game. And Strowman, oh, sent over the top. And Samoa Joe, pretty happy with himself. And when it comes to Braun Strowman, if you're Samoa Joe, you've got to probably go more technical. You've got to look to go for those submissions. You've got to look to use the ground and pound, because at the moment, you know, obviously, Strowman's got the power. You know, there's no doubt, there's no way you can stop Braun Strowman when it comes to that. There's no way you can match Braun Strowman. He is as strong as anybody on the roster. But what you can do is you can take him to the ground. You can use that technique that Joe has and use those submissions. He is a, a submission specialist. He's got the Krakita clutch. He's going to have to try and find that if he's going to beat Strowman tonight. And now Samoa Joe. Champion versus champion. Finds the headbutt. Close encounter right now between the two. It's been a great matchup. Certainly a big brawl between Joe and Strowman. Now Samoa Joe bounces Strowman off the top of the apron there. They've been happy to go to the outside of the ring knowing that there is no count out. They've been able to utilize that because it's a safe area because you can't be pinned to the outside of the ring. So if you're going to look to attack to the outside of the ring, you know that and you do so without knowing you can't win the match, but you also can't lose the match. So it's a bit of a safe zone, if you will. And then again, nothing when it comes... <laughs> no zone is safe when it comes to Samoa Joe or Braun Strowman, but if you know what I mean, you can't lose the matchup at least. So if you're getting slammed on the barricade, at least you can get slammed knowing that, hey, I'm not going to get pinned unless he throws me back in the ring. Strowman, pretty tough to throw in the ring for Samoa Joe. Braun Strowman can be on the outside of the ring knowing that he's pretty well comfortable out there. Right at the moment, they're back inside and Strowman sent for a ride. You don't see that too often, the back body drop. The Universal Champion Samoa Joe off his feet right now as the Intercontinental Champion Braun Strowman is going to look to go for these gut wrenches here. Braun Strowman is going to date set for Clash of Champions against John Cena for the IC title. Strowman, can he beat John Cena, he's a three-time world champion here in Universe Mode. John Cena has not been a champion since Season 2, and it's eating him up alive. He wants to be a champion so badly. Cena's a desperate man. He wants it badly as... Oh, Strowman went for that chokehold. As Joe uses his defense wisely, gets Strowman in the corner. And on the contrary, Samoa Joe defends against Shinsuke Nakamura. He's been a multiple time United States champion, but he's looking to take the next step to the top. Toki to clutch, but straight away, Braun Strowman able to counter. He just grabbed the arms of Joe, and he used his muscle and strength to outpower Samoa Joe. So I'm thinking, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Can he use the submissions to beat Strowman? Because Strowman got out of that so easily. I don't know if, if that will work for Joe now. Well, how does Joe beat Braun Strowman? Can he even pick him up for the muscle buster? I don't know. But maybe the co-keated clutch is out of play right now. Strowman picks up Joe and tosses him down. Well, we were going to say earlier that Strowman, uh, sorry, Joe, rather, meets Nakamura one-on-one -on -one for the Universal Championship. Nakamura, a multiple-time US champion. But for the last year here in Universe Mode, he's tried to take the next step into becoming a main event star, but it's never happened for him. He became the number one contender after controversial fashion, but he is the number one contender now. It's the first time he'll have a singles championship match for the World Championship, either WWE or the Universal Championship. So it's a huge match for Nakamura. The biggest match of his Universe career. But can he beat Samoa Joe, a man who's been on a roll. He won the championship at WrestleMania when he beat Seth Rollins one-on-one. -on -one. He defended the title successfully at payback in a fatal four-way match against Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, and Finn Balor. And he also was able to beat Finn Balor as well to keep his championship. So, Samoa Joe has been able to survive. And when I say beat, I mean Randy Orton came out and interrupted it and basically ruined the match. But, uh, you know, he still was the champion despite the matchup. So, Joe can put that down as a, a win in his mind anyways. Samoa Joe has Braun Strowman right where he wants him. What can he do? Midsection of Strowman into the apron. Close match right now. You get the feeling that one of these two men are going to try and put each other away soon. 
Urinagi there by Joe. Good power display. Will it be enough to put the monster away for three? He gets two, but only going to get two. Well, last week on Raw, Samoa Joe tried to attack Nakamura in the locker room after calling him an undeserving contender out here in the ring. I wonder why he tried to attack him. I guess maybe he's trying to soften him up for Clash of Champions, but it backfired anyway. But right now, Strowman down! He goes! The muscle buster, but Nakamura's on his way to the ring! Well, right on cue, speaking of Shinsuke Nakamura, here he comes! Well, Joe was about to maybe win this match against Strowman, and Joe, well, he says, enough with that, here we go. Come on, Shinsuke, you want some, come get some. Of course, Joe, he was beaten up last week by Nakamura, despite the blindside attack and the steel chair shots. Nakamura was able to hit the Kinshasa and get out of there unscathed. But Nakamura, he heard what Samoa Joe said about him last week. He saw what happened. It was a blindside attack. Nakamura in the locker room minding his own business and Joe tried to attack him. Now they're heading to the crowd area. Samoa Joe with the right hand now. So Nakamura and Joe, they're going at it already just before the Clash of Champions. These two men don't like each other much at all. And it's all about the Universal Championship. And meanwhile, in the ring, there's Cena. John Cena's in the ring. Braun Strowman recovering after the muscle buster. And Strowman not even giving Cena any attention. They're in each other's face. Strowman torn to the crowd. And Cena's going to do it back. Both in each other's face right now. Both talking a bit of trash. And Cena's going to fire the first punch. But Strowman slot, slaps it away. These two men have been fighting for weeks now. And we'll finally see the two clash at the champion's pay-per-view. And now Strowman has got Cena right in the middle of the ring, right where he wants him potentially. Bad news here for John Cena. He came down here to get in the face of Strowman, perhaps even get the one up on him, send one last message before the pay-per-view. Instead, Braun Strowman picks him up and slams him down a couple of times. Cena feeling the wrath here of the monster. And now, boom! Sidewalk slam. Meanwhile, Joe and Nakamura, well, I don't even know where the hell they're at. Well, they're fighting away. I think they're up near the uh, the stage or the ramp area, just across from it. And they're up there fighting. They've gone through the crowd. They're up there now. And these two men just going after one another. They're not giving it up here. Nakamura from behind. Look out. Boom. Connects there. Shinsuke Nakamura. Now lining up Samoa Joe. Here comes Nakamura. Kinshasa! Right to the face of Samoa Joe! Shinsuke Nakamura lands it again. Meanwhile in the ring, Strowman beating down John Cena. Nakamura has the last say before the Clash of Champions. And it looks like Strowman's about to have the last say as well. He's got Cena up for the running power slam. Well, John Cena, he wanted it. He came out here, got in Strowman's face, threw the first punch, and he's paid the price. You can't blame him for trying. This is a monster he's dealing with. He's going to try anything he can to try and get some some sort of advantage heading into the pay view as he gets met with another running power slam. Well, you just don't mess with Braun Strowman. A bad idea, Cena. Strowman lays out Cena, Nakamura lays out Joe. It's a no contest in this one, but it will be a contest at the Clash of Champions. One on one, John Cena versus Braun Strowman. Can't wait for that one. And of course, this match just announced Sasha Banks versus Ruby Riot. One on one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Universe Mode. Four championships will be on the line this Sunday, October 21st at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. UK Time, live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Brendan Plays. Do not miss it. Make sure you are following the channel there so you don't miss the channel live. If you have notifications on as well, you will not miss that upload. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Monday Night Raw's exclusive pay-per-view coming your way. If you want to check out the full match card and more, 
Check out the website, redditplays.com, for all things Universe Mode, plus much more. While you're there, join the Discord as well, and the Bread and Plays forums. It's free to join. You can discuss Universe Mode there, plus much more. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, and of course, subscribe to see more from me. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one, which of course will be another episode of SmackDown.